To access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Earth Spheres There are four spheres of the Earth. The four spheres of Earth are the atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. These are the four subsystems in which the Earth can be split into. These include the air, water, land, and all living things. The atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere are abiotic. This means they are all non living things. The biosphere contains all biotic or living creatures and organisms. These include plants, animals, bacteria, etc. All the four spheres must work together to allow for the successful balance of life on Earth. Any threat to one sphere will have drastic effects on all the others. Atmosphere This is essentially the air. It is primarily made up of the gases nitrogen, oxygen, argon and the remaining are other gases such as water vapour, carbon dioxide, methane, neon, etc. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of the atmosphere. Oxygen makes up about 21% of the atmosphere. Argon makes up about 0.9% of the atmosphere and the remaining gases make up 0.1%. The atmosphere is held in place around the Earth by the force of gravity, almost like a bubble around the Earth. The force of gravity helps to prevent the vapours from escaping into outer space. The atmosphere is very important as this is what makes the Earth inhabitable. The atmosphere also helps to create a barrier between the Earth and the sun's rays. The sun's rays can be harmful, therefore this barrier created by the atmosphere creates a safe environment in which living things can thrive. The atmosphere itself can be further separated into five layers. These include the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Hydrosphere The hydrosphere is the water sphere of Earth. Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. This includes all the water found on Earth's surface including in oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, water underground and even the water in the air. This water can be found in different forms such as liquid, solid or vapour. The liquid form of water is commonly found in lakes, seas, oceans, rivers and underground. These natural water sources are vital for plant and animal life. The solid form of water is seen as icebergs, snows, glaciers, frozen lakes etc. These play an important role in the system too. They help to regulate the global climate and many animals rely on conditions like these to survive. Water vapour refers to water that has evaporated, so it takes on a gaseous state, including clouds and fogs. Water vapour plays an important role in the water cycle. The water cycle is the way in which water continuously circulates within the earth and the atmosphere. When liquid water evaporates from the earth's surface, it turns into a gas and becomes part of the atmosphere. For example, when it rains and a puddle forms, the liquid in the puddle can be dried up in the sun. This forces the water molecules to change and to evaporate. Now, in a gas form, the water molecules form a cloud. The cloud in the air collects more moisture until it becomes so heavy with water vapour that the vapour becomes liquid again 
and falls back to the Earth's surface in the form of rain. Lithosphere The lithosphere is also sometimes known as the geosphere. The Earth is split into four main layers. The crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. The lithosphere is the rocky outer surface of the Earth's crust and the upper portion of the mantle. The lithosphere is essentially the land on which biological life exists. Biosphere The biosphere is the sphere of Earth which includes all organic living life. This includes living things on the Earth's surface, in the atmosphere and underground. Examples of living things include animals, plants, insects, birds, bacteria, etc. This life found on Earth is then divided into a series of classifications, including kingdoms, phylum, classes, orders, families, genus and species. There are five different kingdoms. These are animal, plant, fungi, protist and monera. The biosphere is further broken into biomes and ecosystems. These are specific working systems of plants and animals in different areas that work together to keep a good balance of life on Earth.